Hey, a new here from AndroidRoots.com. We got pretty cool ROM for the Nexus 4. And if you're a fan of my UI ROMs, theming, customization, and really just changing up the whole look of Android on your Nexus 4, this is another great ROM for you guys. Um, so this is actually called the Lua OS ROM, of course, for the Nexus 4. I'll leave a link down below if you guys are actually interested in downloading and flashing this ROM on your very own Nexus 4. But here it is. Let's go ahead and start talking about this ROM. Start with the lock screen um, so already as you can see the lock screen is pretty darn unique so you can go ahead and as you can see you can fling the lock screen it does vibrate a little bit and you get your phone call right here too and text messaging on the right hand side um, so if you just go ahead and fling our lock screen downwards it goes ahead and unlocks the device um, so that's really really cool I had never seen that type of lock screen in any other device it could be in other ROMs and devices I personally just haven't seen it um, so that's really nice right there moving on is as you can see it's pretty darn cool as you don't have an app drawer um, so all your apps are on the home screen just like an iPhone so every single app you install download it will show up here on the main home screen uh, you know of course just on different pages and then on your right hand side you got pretty cool navigation kind of like a home place where you have all your options so you're multitasking on the right or left hand side I'm sorry you have your data right there you have an alarm you can go ahead and turn on let me go and tap that turn on or off let's go and tap oh let me just use my other hand <laughs> there we go or off you can go ahead and check out how long your battery on your Nexus 4 is gonna last so mine's gonna be lasting 15 uh, hours and two more minutes um, healthy is more of a virus security scanner right there and you also have torch which I can go ahead and turn on as you can see you have that light right there and you also have uh, this little sweeper right here at the bottom corner to go ahead and clear all your multitask apps um, I'm not I'm not gonna be doing this as I have theme and that uh, themer app uh, takes a while to actually load all the um, different types of themes just I, just because I believe the servers are from China and they take about like 10 minutes to load them all if even it could be longer I have not seen it load all of them um, <laughs> but anyway um, as you can see all the icons are pretty cool um, they're all customized as you can see so it's not your usual Google icons which is really nice as it just changes up the whole look of your Android device so if you literally just gave this phone to someone who didn't know how Android looked even if they knew how Android looked they could not tell this was running on Android there's no app drawer the icons are different um, if you go and swipe all the way to the right, you have this option. So you really can't tell this is based on an Android device, which is the cool part. You know, it really just changes up everything. And that's the really cool, awesome part about how Android is, you know, can be customized to even this point where you can't even tell it's running on an Android device, especially on a Nexus 4. Um, right here on the top, the notification and the switches, which they call the, you know, quick toggles. You have all these options, which is themed up. If you go ahead and tap on settings, you are once again themed up with common. So you just your basic more uh, more frequently used options for settings and also all settings for all your settings right there so that's really nice as well um, let's go ahead and now talk about theme because it's really cool as you can theme a lot okay so it actually loaded it a lot now oh wow so uh, let me see how many it loaded okay wow so it actually did load a lot this is the most I've ever seen loaded um, one thing I'm gonna be warning you is if you go ahead and tap on online to go ahead and download a new theme for your Nexus 4 you for the uh, Lua OS ROM um, it will take quite a bit of time um, if you're located somewhere outside I'm assuming China as I believe this ROM is made from a Chinese uh, you know a uh, person or a group of people um, so I'm thinking the servers are located in China <laughs> I'm assuming Assuming so, um, so right here I'm looking in the U.S. They take about five to ten minutes to load even this many uh, themes. So you know you have to be patient. Um, and downloading also does take quite a bit of time. Even even if some themes are also two megabits, um, it will take quite a bit of time. Um, so you need to be patient. Um, so I went ahead and download a few, but we can go ahead and take a look, look at a couple of these. So as you can see, I'm just gonna go ahead and just slide across and show you these. Um, so they're really cool. All of them are completely different. Um, as you can see, they have their whole unique theme wallpapers icons really really cool I gotta say um, so let's go ahead and look at our local um, and here's our default one which comes pre downloaded and installed when you once you do flash the ROM um, these other two melt and Chinese painting are the ones I downloaded earlier just about 10 minutes ago um, so we can go ahead and tap on melt right here and as you can see the images will take quite a bit of time to load just like I said earlier just because they're from Chinese servers um, as far as I can tell um, okay there we go wow it actually loaded pretty quickly compared to the other 
the time I tried it. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and tap on apply and actually go and apply it. Um, so that was really, really quick um, on applying it. Um, as you can see, icons have changed, wallpaper is changed. Um, you know, even all these multitasking icons are changed up as well. Um, let's see if the lock screen has changed it up. Um, so okay, the lock screen did uh, stay the same with the lock screen wallpaper as well. Um, so that did not change this time. Um, we can go ahead and go back to our multitasking, tap on theme, and we can go ahead and apply the other one as well. So we'll tap on Chinese painting, apply this one. Um, we can go and tap on it, apply it, and you can also trash it right there as you can see in the bottom uh, corner right there. Um, and boom, there you go, you got more of a space one, at least with the wallpaper. The icons are completely different as you can see, completely different. Let's see if the lock screen has changed and no. So it looks like these themes don't really change the lock screens as far as I can tell. Um, but it's really cool as one day you can have a space theme, the next one you can have one with a, you know, boat for the wallpaper with completely different icons. So if you like changing up your phone a lot really easily and quickly this can be the perfect ROM for you of course or my UI ROM as they're very similar um, you know side by side with themes especially um, and also one thing I want to go ahead and finish off with is I want to go ahead and show you within the themes if I can go ahead and find it hey, there it is themes um, I want to go and show you the options that you get um, so under customize you have all these options to go and change your desktop wallpaper lock screen wallpaper live wallpaper icon font lock screen and global style uh, so for example we can go and tap on lock screen go ahead and slide over to online and it can go ahead and uh, load online lock screen options you can go ahead and download and install on your Nexus 4 device but that is it that's pretty much it guys for this video this is Lua OS ROM for the Nexus 4 like I said earlier I'll leave a link down below where you can go ahead and download and flash this ROM on your very own Nexus 4 one thing to note is before you go and flash it be sure to flash the radio file um, right after the ROM or your Wi-Fi and data will not work um, so I'll leave a link down below for the radio as well in the one link down below. Um, but if you guys enjoyed this video review, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe in the bottom left-hand corner right there. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+, which is also located down below in the video description. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.